Welcome back. Once again, adventurers, to Let's Play Robotics Notes Elite. In the last episode, Kaito geared himself up for a kill ballad battle with none other than the game's very own creator, a user by the name of Frau. Uh, sorry. Frau Kojima, which I'm assuming is the game creator's actual name, at least in the world of uh, robotics notes. And I have to issue a correction. I mistakenly thought that uh, Frau Kojima was one of the people on at the top of leaderboard, but uh, they weren't because the name clearly wasn't on there. I just uh, got confused because I didn't remember who exactly was on the leaderboard at the time. That's my excuse and I'm sticking with it. I suppose it stands to reason that the creator of Kill Ballad doesn't want to overshadow uh, other potential players on the leaderboard. And also due to the fact that different people are just skilled differently when it comes to uh, online fighting games such as Kill Ballad. Uh, speaking of the creator, they sent a message uh, to Kaito informing them that somebody had mentioned that Kaito was apparently cheating. Not only is Kaito innocent in this, I can uh, confirm this by the fact that I barely managed to sort of scrape my way through the uh, button presses uh, during the combat sequence. Admittedly not as difficult as I thought it was going to be, my skill still stands entirely at mediocre status when it comes to uh, reflex skills. Uh, but that aside, we were also introduced to uh, Akio Sonomiya whose older sister Misaki was actually the one behind the robot club at the uh, Central School Academy uh, to begin with. And she was very renowned, apparently uh, she had quite the reputation, but she left all that behind and is now working in Tokyo. And so Akio is picking up where Misaki left off. And we spent the rest of the afternoon at the robot, the uh, robotic club uh, hangar, um, where the prototype gun barrel, gun build one, is collecting dust. Even though uh, Akio was doing her best to try and maintain it as much as possible, getting it completed in terms of actually uh, building its functionality requires the resources the likes of which uh, Akio's older sister had and which we now currently lack. And as for Kaito, he has just uh, been playing around playing games on his uh, uh, phone droid and pretty much doing very little else. Now I have something very important to tell you, adventurers, from uh, this episode onwards, uh, is the fact that I've uh, implemented and installed the uh, Committee of Zero patch uh, from the same site as I got the uh, Chaos Child patch, which fixed a lot of things. Um, there are a lot of fixes and uh, retranslations uh, that should certainly help things run smoother. Um, as you will notice, uh, the font um, will uh, be noticeably different than it was. Also, you, you can see uh, the auto and skip functions down in the lower left-hand corner, which weren't previously there before. But the creme de la creme, the icing on the cake of this very well designed and put together patches. I can use my mouse. 
I can use the mouse. I have the mouse. The mouse works. The mouse can uh, function again. Yeah, using the keyboard was uh, fine for a while, I guess, but uh, it feels absolutely fantastic to use the mouse. Also, uh, if you're wondering what Daily Records is, it's a calendar, but uh, basically its only real function, as I can tell, is uh, basically marking when each of the chapters uh, start. So there's chapter one, uh, chromosphere inductor. Yeah, not to be me, uh, not to be mistaken with the chronosphere from the Command and Conquer Red Alert spin-off series, although that is a uh, time machine of its uh, own design. But I digress. Uh. Nope, Kaido isn't, uh, he's gotten bored of using the phone droid, uh, which is fair enough, it is, uh, getting, uh, quite late in the evening now. I raise my head from my Pokecom and see that the sky is dark, yeah, a uh, phone droid has been changed to Pokemon, uh, Pokemon, what am I talking about, Pokecom the uh, pocket computer um, appellation. I'm actually going to call it phone droid. I uh, keep calling it phone droid, so uh, I'll say the sentence again. I raise my eyes from my phone droid and see that the sky is darkened. The abandoned runway of this very old uh, Fortunately abandoned um, airport, since they uh, we learned in the last episode that uh, they constructed a new one when this old one closed down. Fortunately, there are no uh, smugglers or unauthorized uh, airplanes uh, using this illegally. Otherwise, Kaito would have been in very serious danger just from uh, lying in the middle of an open runway. I slowly rise up. I was too engrossed, and didn't notice how much time had passed. Yeah, you were just busy lazing around, while Akio was actually quite busy uh, making sure that the gun build 1 didn't rust. Or fall apart for that matter. My head's kind of hazy. I guess my mind is still on the game. Yeah, we now have... Uh, we can now use our um, mouse, um, although the uh, reticle still uh, still follows. But this is, this is a much more natural reaction for me. Also, the uh, phone droid is fully charged. It has a full battery, and it has full internet reception. I don't think we... Uh, um, did we get any, uh, we didn't get any replies, um, to our previous, but, uh, it seems that Archeo has, uh, uh, been doing some more tweets. Um, yeah. Also, the patch has, uh, has, uh, put the, uh, names back in their original Japanese, um, formations, but I'm still gonna refer to them normally as I do. The work clothes were in the club room. Oh, well, that's, uh, unfortunate, but that's on you. Maintenance start. Is this youth? Yeah, you uh, said that before. Hmm. Could reply with that one. 
could reply with that one. Yes. You know what? This uh, this reply is uh, sounds like pure Kaito Yashi Yashio. So we're gonna send that one. If it's KB, I can pull an all nighter. Um, break time. Also, uh, we got a reply. You rarely get the reference. You you've improved. Even I know who uh, the red comet is one of his well one of his names lonzo is already open explanation marks i don't know what lonzo is i'm sure it's important hmm. kind of strange that we didn't actually get a uh update notification um At least with uh, Rintaro's phones, uh, we actually got a notification about uh, when somebody sent a reply. But then again, it is Twippo. So, uh, yeah, and we have no one to call. And since we use uh, Twippo anyway, well, actually, emails are still very important, even with uh, the rest of social media. Those subtle screen shakes and that pseudo heaviness when you punch in an input are what I'm all about. Since I've been lying on the hard ground, my back hurts. Well, you could have just... Okay, yeah, I know the uh, grass is a bit thick, but uh, it's better than lying on the concrete. I wonder if Vagio is still doing maintenance. Probably. I peek into the hangar, but I don't see any sign of her. There's the gun barrel prototype with its blue top, which is clearly not enough to uh, shield it. But luckily the, uh, well, uh, I should probably say cover it, but uh, luckily um, with the doors down, uh, it's very well protected from the elements. The dust, on the other hand, is a completely different story. Something tells me she's here, though. Something around the bottom portion of the robot, below the right knee. Does it have to do anything with oil? Or... Maybe not. Maybe just the fact that, uh... Akio is, uh using a uh, mechanics trolley, or whatever it's called, to work on the underside of uh, the mech. Akiho, armed with a pen light, had crawled under the tight space beneath the robot and is doing some sort of work. Mentichu! <laughs> yeah, we can show you. A crouching heavy kick. She's so, she's full of openings, and so I could guard, counter, and then combo her for a quarter of her HP. We already know what combos is, but apparently, uh, there is still more that we uh, need to learn. Apparently, combo. Short for combination, in fighting games it refers to executing a time sequence of inputs, resulting in a series of hits that render the opponent unable to block or retaliate. On that note, I agree. Uh, with Kaito again, one of the rare uh, occasions in which uh, he is actually talking sense. 
Akio stores an old t-shirt and shorts in the club room she could use for messy jobs, but she barely uses them, as evidenced by her tweet. Yeah, we know that. We just checked Twippo. She went to the trouble of having work clothes ready, yet she always forgets them in the club room. Do they not have changing rooms at the uh, central school? Akio keeps her hands moving as she makes excuses for herself. Also, uh, yeah. Hopefully you don't lean up sharply, otherwise you uh, might hit your head. Is that a subtle jab at the fact that I don't help? Uh, probably. I don't think the uh, school faculty would uh, view it that way. Bert given her diligence with uh, maintaining the gun barrel prototype, I would definitely say that Akio uh, has what it takes to be a mechanic. It looks like she's done, at least for today. Looks like she's finished. Akio comes crawling out, or rolling out, since she's on the uh, trolley. She brushes off her dirty uniform with her hands, also wearing uh, that uh, bag strap on it, uh, while you're under there is probably uh, very uncomfortable. Uh, certainly seems pleased with her efforts. Hotskare? You're probably the only person in 2019 who has ever uttered the word rad since the 1990s, Kaito. She tucks away her pen light. She was probably just checking to make sure that everything was, is still in order. That is true. That's just how Akio is, apparently. I don't think uh, she said that. I think you're the one who's saying that there, uh, Kaito. Kaito would never admit that he's weird. Despite the self-depreciation, Akio's eyes are tw uh, twinkling as she grasps my hands. The perfect picture of a friendship between two dudes, except, uh, unlike Ruka Urushibara, Akio Sonomiya isn't a dude. Her, s her hand is sticky with oil, but she doesn't seem to clear in the slightest. Akira then s uh, starts nodding like she agrees with herself. At least she's happy. After washing her hands, we close the garage shutters and lock up. Another day over. Since there are no street lights near the abandoned airport, it turns pitch black at night. Of course there'd be no lights around here at an abandoned airport. Which is precisely why we need to leave before that happens. 
could have brought so flashlights. Then again, uh, the phone droid would uh, obviously have a flashlight function. I'd be disappointed if it didn't. As we walk, Akio suddenly pulls out her phone droid. The Fink plushie attached to it swings back and forth. Its color is darkened considerably and it only takes a glance to see it's because of oil. I'm guessing uh, Fink is the, uh, the new fad in town. Fink, the adorable mascot character from the anime Mobile Battler Gun Barrel. His design is based off of the Egyptian Sphinx, and much like the Sphinx, he is capable of human speech. A large merchant amount of merchandise of the character has been sold, such as stuffed animals, plush straps, etc. So basically, Fink is the Gero Froggy slash Oopa of... Uh, Robotics notes, which, uh, yeah, I like Oopa, and I think I'll get along fine with Fink. Gero Froggy, on the other hand, I wouldn't touch with a uh, with a 50-foot lip strap. I, I really wouldn't. Gero Froggy needs to uh, disappear off the face of the earth. Nobody likes Gero Froggy. I certainly don't. I keep telling her to replace it with a new one, but she seems to have no intention of doing so. It's basically her heirloom by this point. I still, uh... I still don't know what Alonso is. Also, what is the everyday? Uh, really? Every day is a convenience store at our, uh, near our houses. The only convenience store in Minamitane, actually. They started remodeling it about a, half a year ago, so it's been closed. Did they just turn it into a new store? Apparently. Let's take a look on my phone droid. I bring up Delude map. Sync with IRUO? Yes. Yes, we should. I use the world virtual function in IRUO to look at Minami Tame. Sorry, Minami Tane. Sure enough, there's Alonso. This is basically uh, Google Map. Ne? Monso Matame. Uh, Minami Tane branch. 10% also says open 24 hours oh that's the phone grand opening event through the 25th looks like we're going shopping or at the very least window shopping true although uh, it's getting late so there might not be as many people Akio abruptly t stops talking. Wait. What was that about the... Anemone, I think she called it. What is the anemone? Oh, sorry, the anemone. A 
anemone, huh? What is it? Apparently it's a ship. Mass fainting incident. Now there's an unpleasant name I'd rather forget. By the way, that newspaper clip uh, gives me uh, definite Steinsgate Zero vibes. Flashbacks to the, uh, when the news was talking about the encephalitis cases, of course. Uh, turned out to be not encephalitis after all. So uh, I will bet my top and bottom dollar that there is something more to the anemone vessel than simple ma mass fainting. But Kaito doesn't want to talk about that. For reasons that I'm sure we shall find out eventually, whenever eventually gets here. I, ten I intentionally changed the subject. For the last two weeks or so, uh, sorry, for the last two or so weeks, Akio has been heading to the faculty room after school. She's trying to garner interest in the prototype gun barrel. But after Masaki left, things have really gone downhill. I often say those words to Akiho. She's always like this. Really optimistic. Also, I, I, in the uh, second episode, I believe I made a comparison between Akiho, Sonomia, and Favorus of Steinsgate. Favorus's full name is Rumiho Akiha. Uh, Sorry, yeah, Akiha, sorry. Akiha being her last name, whereas Akiho is, well, Akiho's first name. Redundant, but I felt I should uh, point that out. Every time Akiho returns those words to me, she smiles bashfully, optimistic to the end. And she's been trying to uh, get the vice principal of uh, Central Central High to uh, see the value in what we're trying to do, or she's trying to do. And apparently Kaito has a stomach ache. Akio laughed, laughs in amazement. Whenever we go to the hangar, we keep our scooters parked in the lot in front of the terminal. That's uh, these two scooters over here. They're certainly in better condition than the, uh, the building, I can tell you that much. We live in Minami Tane, which is on the southern part of the island. School is 15 kilometers away, so commuting by scooter is allowed. Well, that's good to know. I leave the key in. Nobody around here would steal it, and walking around with it would be a pain in the ass. And then, a random passerby, a complete and total stranger, just happens to walk by and go, Hey! There's a scooter with a key in it. Does it have, does it start? Does it have any fuel in it? It does. Well, freebies. And then Kaito was sad forever. <laughs> Basically, the moral of the story is Kaito is stupid for leaving his keys in there. I certainly wouldn't leave my keys in there, even if there were nobody around. Yeah, she's uh, wanting to uh, gaze at the new Lonzo store.
Who comes up with these store names? Seriously. Wait, that was a food? And now Wakio is dejected. Good job there, Kaito. She says... This is like a ritual before we ride our scooters. I always ask how she feels. If she's not well, we'll re uh, we rest. So this is basically routine. And if she still isn't feeling well after that, we leave the scooters here and go home some other way. I am very surprised that they don't get stolen. She had been involved in a scooter accident once before. Luckily she got out with minor injuries, but you never know when a fatal one might occur. True enough. I straddle my scooter and put on the ugly helmet required by the school and step on the kick pedal, starting the engine. Akio puts on the same uh, puts on the track jacket she left on the scooter handle, slips on the same ugly helmet, and we're ready. Time to head home. Let us depart. It takes around 40 to 50 minutes to get from school to Akio's house, even though we didn't leave from school. By the time we arrive, the sun is long gone. This is a, uh, this is actually a very nice house, if I do say so myself, which I do say so myself. By the way, my house is really close, not even a minute away by scooter. After parking the scooter in front of her house, Akio takes off her helmet and waves to me. I'm guessing uh, Nachio is the island's way of saying uh, goodbye or fairly well. Just like uh, Ojari Mouse is the uh, official welcoming line. Nachio! I'm just gonna say Sayonara just for shits and giggles. This is our unique greeting. In our dialect, it roughly translates to, let's meet again. Or in my case, until next we meet, but we're not there yet. Mizane originally started using it as a code word, so... Sorry, I'm afraid, yeah. Misaki originally started using it as a code word, so Akiho and I picked it up too. To be honest, it's not something that comes naturally. I have to intentionally use it. Only elderly people use that dialect lately. So basically you're calling Akio Sonomia old. I'm just kidding. Akio sees me off as I head home. I cast my gaze at the night sky. Is, uh... Fairly spectacular there with the uh, red colors. But anyway, the northern region is steeped in red, almost like it's oozing blood. That's the aurora. To uh, find out about auroras now on the tips list. A luminous phenomenon visible from the north and south poles, as well as other locations nearby. This primarily occurs when streams of plasma particles produced by the sun, known as solar wind, interact with the Earth's magnetic field. The principle behind an aurora's luminescence mirrors that of a fluorescent light. And while the most famous auroras take the shapes of uh, sorry, take the form of curtains, they're not restricted to just that shape. For example, one type of aurora 
is capable of radiating light across the entire sky, albeit in a rather dim fashion. The name originated from Aurora, the goddess of dawn, in Roman mythology, as well as, uh, yeah. I was going to allude to Aurora from uh, Sleeping Beauty, but I'm getting sidetracked right now. It's not quite the same as the famous Aurora everyone knows, the beautiful one that's kind of shaped like curtains, aka the Northern Lights. I've never seen it myself before, so... But I have seen it. Well, at, when I say, I mean in person, obviously. Apparently an aurora takes on the shade of colour at lower at latitudes. The sun is abnormally active now. So this has led to the world to being able to see auroras since a few years ago. Back then I mistook it for a wildfire or something in the distance. But now I'm totally used to seeing it. And I don't really feel one way or the other about it, especially since he pl spends all his time on the pokey, um, the uh, phone droid playing Kill Ballad Online. That cover in the sky is just another part of my everyday life. My ordinary, unchanging days. My life on silent, repeating endlessly. It's hard to believe it will be coming to an end in six months, with graduation not that far away. But for now, I'll just focus on getting home and eating dinner. Another evening meal. And it's the next day. The sky is so blue, it's crystal clear. Day after day of cloudless skies, almost to the point of tedium. The weather is pretty important around these parts, especially because it tends to rain a lot this time of year. If it's just a light rain, I can wear a raincoat and commute to school by bike, but I'd rather just I'd rather it just be nice out. The wind striking my face has the scent of summer, or at least that's what it feels like. You know, greenery and stuff. Except, uh, last I checked, wind wasn't green. Riding a scooter in the summer is way nicer than during the winter by a long shot. No arguments there. Although I bet that holds true around the world, not just on this island. Yeah, cool breezes in the summer are always a bonus. Akio is driving in front of me, her skirt flapping around in the wind. I shouldn't have to tell you this, uh, Kaito, but you should uh, really keep your eyes on the road. Every day I get nervous about her accidentally flashing everyone, but her guard is unexpectedly tight. We stop our scooters at the convenience store near the school. One might call me a regular here at the Ira General Store. I lightly wave to Akiho in response before entering the store. Um, I'm taking it that you're the uh, person that runs the uh, general store. And once again, uh, we got a whole bunch of tips uh, from seemingly out of nowhere. Hmm. It's a 
first up is Exoskeleton Company. Exoskeleton Development Corporation Limited began as a small company that invented and sold power-assisted suits known as uh, HUGs and not HUGs that focused on medical care and rehabilitation. However, in the late 2010s, they began to focus their attention on the rapidly growing robot boom and quickly grew into a world famous company as a result. Nowadays, they produce HUGs and other applications not just for nursing and welfare purposes, but also for the military, public security, and other similar fields where HUG usage proves beneficial. In 2018, it was, the ranked, it was ranked the number one company that Japanese college students want to work for. HUG, a product, that, a product name that stands for Helpful Unlimited Gear, and not Metal Gear, since there's no M in the name. Um, I'll keep going. It is a power-assisted suit designed for mob mobility assistance that was released by Exoskeleton Company. Essentially, the exoskeleton suit is attached to the arms and legs of the human body in order to assist walking. Thanks to the robot boom that began in the late 2010s, the product has gained an extremely strong reputation worldwide. HUGs are supplied not just for nursing and welfare purposes, but for the uh, military, public security, and other similar fields where HUG usage proves beneficial. The use of graphene, an advanced new material whose discoverer won the Nobel Prize in 2010, makes the device significantly lighter and far more durable, yet the material is quite inexpensive allowing the price of HUGs to remain surprisingly low. This in turn allows for the device to be fairly accessible to the general public, which is a large reason why it became such a huge success. By 2015, over 1 million HUG units have been sold, and that number was, an increase, was increased to an astonishing 3 million units sold in 2018. My question is, do these uh, HUGs, are they apparently sold in general stores of all places? The girl, within, uh, the girl with the languid attitude sitting at the counter is Mizuka Ire. So, uh, yeah. So this is her family's general store. She's the, the daughter of the store's owner, and works here on most weekdays. She's helping with the family business, because of course she is. She was... You know what, I might as well just start using uh, Kaito's appellations. She was Mizune's classmate. In other words, I've known her since I was in elementary school. So Mizaki and uh, I really should be paying paying attention. Mizuka, Mizaki and Mizuna, uh, Zuka, sorry. This older girl who barely even uses any. Uh, even uses makeup has become somewhat of a minor celebrity among students at my high school. With her easygoing personality, she speaks openly and frankly with all the teenagers who shop by here, who drop by here to shop. She was left paralyzed from the waist down in a traffic accident back in college, but thanks to the fancy tech attached to her legs, or her HUG, she gets by. So, uh, yeah, they, uh, those are what basically allow her to, uh, 
stay mobile. The HUG is a power assisted suit that quietly hit the mark, uh, medical care, care market, uh, sorry, the medical care market in 2010, which was back before the robot boom started. Despite not being a robot, the HUG rode the robot wave and became huge with over 3 million units sold worldwide. Even on a rural island like this, you occasionally see people walking around with them in town. HUGs even get used for non-medical things. You see, uh, you'll see in special, you'll see special features on TV like jogging with HUGs is in and whatnot. So they pretty much become a social staple as they should be given their uh, functionality. I lightly nod my head at Mizuka-san. <laughs> she herself told me to compliment all the girls, so I put my words, her words into practice. Why she gotta be so mean? Probably because it's you, Kaito. I grabbed the usual two bottles of fruit sour melon from the drink aisle and bring them to the register. Yeah, she's pretty much gone. Record, I have absolutely no idea what skull even is. I'm, I'm just going to say, I, I'm guessing uh, skull is a type of soft drink. Mizuka san grins at me and points to the steamer next to the the register. It's filled with meat buns, anchor buns, and more. Apparently, uh, Kaido is not fond of the uh, food and contained within these shelves. I'm taking up that these are the meat buns and pastries that he's referring to. I believe that is the word he just used, yes? <laughs> I try to laugh it off as I hand Mizuka-san the money for my drinks. So, so. She grimaces like she suddenly remembered something. I don't know who Michi is, but uh, I'll be sure to tell them whatever it is. Oh goody, we uh, get to learn more about protein. Forgive me, protein supplement. Supplement which features protein as a main component. Usually in powdered form, one drinks it by mixing it with water. It is popular among bodybuilders, especially uh, one very s specific individual in the world of Persona 3, who is notorious for its protein supplements. ミッチーってこの店でプロテイン注文してんの？なんで自宅に直接送ってもらわないんだろう？さあね、あいつ今回は注文したくせにどう忘れしてるらしくて、ちょっともとりに来ないよ。Well, that's uh, that's unfortun
Under the counter I see four protein bags with five kilograms written on them. The company probably shipped them by sea. Oh. Mitchie is... Mitsuhiko Nagafukada's nickname. Yeah, we're just gonna keep calling him Mitchie. He's the PE teacher at school and our club advisor. Simple, right? Everything except the name. それ俺に言うんじゃなくてミッチーに直接言ってくれない電話とかで私はポケコンなんか持ってない知ってんでしょ Mizuka doesn't have a phone droid It's weird for her to boast about that language they Mizuka-san is bad with machines She's always bragging about how the only things she can use are the register and her HUG stuff. I should certainly hope so. You are kidding me. You don't even have a basic landline phone. I mean, outside of uh, local customers, how does this place stay open? <clears throat> how does this place even have any business? I heard Michi was a classmate and friend, but maybe I'm misremembering. Looks like we've been roped into this errand without our consent. That's just how it goes. As soon as she's done talking, she opens yesterday's newspaper and starts reading. Guess we're done? She's like a grumpy old man. What terrible customer service. And for those of you who don't know what newspapers are, yeah. You've been living under something even more uh, obscure than a rock. If you don't know what a newspaper is. In the uh, current year, <coughs> 2019, the number of newspapers printed has fallen drastically due to the increased presence of digital publication, forcing many local publishers to go out of business. However, there are still those that fiercely depend and support the place of newspapers in modern societies. Even though the number of pages and the amount of information has decreased, newspapers continue to be published to this day. And uh, rightfully so. God, she's so scary. I would actually disagree with you there. I thought Mizune was bad, but Mizuka-san is no slouch. Why are the women her age so terrifying? Or maybe those two are just special. Or maybe you're just, uh, not all that. Ah, uh, crap. I spent way too much time chatting with Mizuka-san. I need to hurry or I'm gonna be end up late. Away we go. Scooter away. I reach the school gate and turn off the engine. 